What do you think? You can come down here and shoot any time you want. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Good work. That's one last round roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile! Boys and girls have different parts. Anyway, so I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? That like, I get any kind of special Tell me. Revelation 21-6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old girl. So, yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test, GOAT. Everyone here in the Vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the Overseer says? We are born in the Vault, we die in the Vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all Vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important. So listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. That's what the Overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. Your mother, she... She was beautiful, but beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate about life, about love. But most of all, most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, honey, please take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. Take care, sweetie. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Hey, 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 Wait, sport. It's been a while since you stopped in here to see I us. I can show you a real it's tongue snake, Amada. Yeah? What do you want? None of your business, kid. Get out of here.
If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Maybe you're right. We can deal with her later. Yeah, you're right. Come on, tunnel snakes. This little oh, bitch isn't God. worth our time. Whatever you say, Butch. You're the boss. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine, let's go. Thanks for getting rid of them. <laughs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Oh. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Listen, I like your dad. I might even like you if I wasn't your teacher. So here's what I'm going to do. If you want to skip the test, just tell me how you want it to come out. And I'll take care of it for you. Good for you. Let's go, people. The overseer's patience is limited. Back off. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking. And keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two, while working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five, your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Question six, old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. 
You enter his private restroom when no one is looking, and... Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives.